What we'll also be able to do is search the logs for the application, so remote collection of client logs. And in order to do that, in the Worklight console, we need to go into our log profiles, and we need to add a profile for whichever environment and log levels that we want to capture information for. We could select specific applications if you have multiple applications on your Worklight server. We could select specific environments, so whether it's iOS, Android, web. We collect logs for specific device models or device OS versions. And what I want to do right now is add a log profile for error for all applications, all devices. And I want to go ahead and add another one for log. So there's, there's different logging level entries that you can collect information for. I've now got error, I've got log. So let's go ahead and add some logging statements inside of our app so that we can see the collected data from this native application. Back in Xcode now, I want to import the OC logger class. The OC logger class is what's used by Worklight to send logs to the server. And any of the output from this class is also going to be visible in the Xcode console. So you can see it when you're debugging your application and when you launch it and go into production, you'll be able to collect information from remote devices that are out in the field. And I want to create an OC logger instance. So we'll OC logger and we'll call that logger. Next, let's jump back to our application delegate class and we need to initialize the logger. So we'll say logger equals OC logger get instance with package. And the package name can just be a string which identifies you know, where you're logging information from. In this case, I'm going to give it the name MAM app delegate so that when we're logging it, we can see where did the, these logging statements come from. Next, I'm going to set OC logger set capture to true. And this will guarantee that we're capturing information. And I also want to set auto send logs to true so that logs will automatically be sent to the server. You can manually send logs to the server by calling the OC logger send function, or if you choose auto send logs, the logs will be sent to the server when the application starts or when the size of the log buffer exceeds your configured size range. Now, once we've initialized the logger, we can just go ahead and log something. And just to demonstrate this, we're going to call logger log and we'll say connecting to work light. Now we can launch this application again. Now the application has been running and if we look in the Xcode console, we can now see some statements from OC logger. We can see that the logger configuration was successfully retrieved from the server. We can see that the client logs were successfully sent to the server, and we can see that analytics data was sent to the server. Now let's jump back over to the Worklight console and, and go back to our analytics dashboard. And from here, we can start searching logs. When I hit search, we can see that we have a connecting to Worklight message from the API, my native API, which we just created, you, in an iOS native environment at log level log. And this is just from calling the logger log functionality in Xcode. We can jump back to our analytics. So if we go to our devices, again, we can see we now have two method calls, both iOS native. Um, we can go to our network summary. We can see that we now have several remote procedure calls that have been invoked. We've got the init function, which is just when you're initially connecting to the server. We've got config profile where it's pulling the, the, the logging configuration from the server. And we've got log uploader where it's actually uploading the logs to the server. We can see network analytical information for every API request to the Worklight server. So we can really dig in and get a lot of information about what the application is doing. I want to add just a couple more log statements so you can see the logging in action. And on success, I'm going to add a message. Worklight connection success and on failure, and we're going to set error. And in this case, it's going to be logged with the error level. We'll add our response description. So the next time that Worklight does connect to the server, it's going to send the details of that error back to the server so that we can have that for future logging or if we need to dig in and debug that issue further. Again, I will launch the application. 
And from the user's perspective, they just see the app. It's up and it's running. But if we come back into our log search again, we'll be able to see uh, that we've connected to Worklight. We now have Worklight connection success. So you can actually log activity. You can log everything that's happening within the application and collect operational analytics, which can then be used to track down any kind of issue that might be happening within your application. We could then, if we want, if we have lots of logs from lots of devices, we could filter based on the API. We could filter based upon whatever the log level might be. We can also filter based upon the package. And the package is what was specified when I got the reference to the OC logger instance. 